Hello, Sagittarians. Happy Mama's Day out there to all who are celebrating. Hope For everybody else, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. I truly do. All right, Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the main deck. I have Dreamscape Tarot for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Ace of Pentacles. You have a new offer here. And a Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is done. Da dun 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 Ten of Swords is really done with the bullshittery, honestly. Queen of Cups reverse below that. Nine of Wands holding on to see if something gets better. And somebody did you a favor because you're walking away. King of Cups reverse there and the Two of Wands. You really don't need it, Sag. You really don't need it. Let's see. But you got a new offer. I love that Ace of Pentacles. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. If you are a Sag, know a Sag. Want to be a Sag and feel like being a Sag. Sagis, I'm glad you're here. All of you. You could be a Sag and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story and Sagittarius can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Sag or for a Sag. Take it as it resonates. Collective messages for my lovely Sagittarians. What is the energy coming towards Sag that you need to be aware of? What is the energy coming towards Sag they need to be aware of? Ooh la la, Two of Cups. Cancer energy. What's influencing the Two of Cups? What's influencing the Two of Cups? Death reverse. You got Scorpio and Cancer right there. King and Queen of Cups. What's the reason for the reading? Oh, I'm getting some vibes here, but let's keep going. What's the reason for the reading? Ten of Swords reverse. Why do I feel like this isn't somebody trying to keep you? Two of Cups is smoothing something over. Don't go, don't go. Death reverse is just something. Something's not changing here. Ten of Swords reverse is an ongoing situation. Bottom of the clarifying deck is a Ten of Swords upright. That is one ten. When it's upright, somebody is completely down with the bullshit. What's in the past? Two of Swords. Look at all these swords coming out, man. What is on your mind? Six of Pentacles reverse. I think somebody's going to try to keep you, but it's too little, too late. Two of Swords. I feel like you, you kept a blind eye to somebody's behavior. Death reverse influencing this Two of Cups. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to go. But why do you have to walk out the door to get somebody to actually be nice? Somebody's trying to all of a sudden smooth something over. Because they need you, Sagittarius. They need you. What's in the near future? Knight of Wands. Look at you. Look at you on your horse and on your way. Knight of Wands up on that horse. Feeling good. Feeling happy and getting the hell out of there. What is the energy, Sagittarius? How do they see themselves right now? How do the Sagis see themselves right now? Knight of Swords. Anything is possible. Knight of Swords is... I get this freedom. I think you held on as long as you can and you're making the decision. I don't, Six of Pentacles reverse, I feel like you're refusing an offer. And it just feels like this freedom, honestly, finally out of something that's probably been very difficult. What's the energy coming in you don't see coming? Five of Cups, Scorpio, I bet. I bet, Scorpio. Five of Cups. It's so interesting because you have a two of cups, right? Upright. You have a death reverse, which is Scorpio. Now you got the Scorpio five of cups. What is he looking at? He's looking at that two of cups in front of him. This person is still holding, hoping and hoping and hoping you're not getting on that ship and moving off like a six of swords, moving on to something better. But you do four cups reverse in the fool and you do in a big way. And the emperor, you go on to something much better than this person ever kept you kept you still for what is in your emotions currently what are in saggy's emotions currently looking for the new it's like still in that moon in the night but you know the sun is there so much so look it up close knight of wands you get to there you get to the other side of the mountain mountains and tarots when they put mountains on cards represents problems in our lives you do overcome this problem and get into something much better what is the outcome? This flipped. Three of I let's let's see. Nine of Cups, Lovers Reverse, World Reverse, Page of Swords Reverse. Ooh, somebody's gonna find out that you are leaving the scene. Page of Swords Reverse is bad news coming. World reverse, lovers reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse, and there you are, nine of cups. There you are. 
that I'm not leaving it because it was kind of in between the questions, but I just wanted to look at it. I'm nosy like that. What's the outcome for Sagittarius? It's saying shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. What's the outcome for Sagittarius? My nose is itching, everything. All right, what's the outcome for Sagittarius? Strength reverse. Back here, you held on. You try to keep a blind eye to somebody's behavior, but strength reverse is saying, I can't. I, I'm not. I refuse to. You're letting something go. What is the outcome here for Sagittarius? One more card. And the judgment. Something is new in your life. It's an awakening in your life. It's a, a, a renewal. Look at the Eight of Cups walking into the world. See the mountaintop? See this Page of Pentacles? You're walking into such a new beginning with your head held high. I do feel like somebody's going to try to keep you, but it is so futile. It's so futile. It's like you're already gone. All right. Two of Cups, center of the reading for Sagittarius. Honestly, somebody should have worked this hard to keep you happy as hard as they're trying to get, keep you to stay. If they would have worked this hard, you would have. this would never have happened. What is the Two of Cups, center of the reading? What is, oh, come on cards, what is this Two of Cups, center of the reading? The Ace of Swords, reverse. Oh, that's what I felt. I feel like somebody's trying to smooth it over with the Two of Cups. Somebody's going to play nice. You tell somebody, I'm done on Monday, and by Tuesday, they're going to be all nicey-nicey trying to keep you but you know what an ace of swords reverses among other things it's the no card it's the it's the big biggest no card of tarot that tarot has it's the ace of swords reverses like almost laughable it's it's not happening it's and you're walking away what's this death reverse influencing energy scorpio yep six of cups i feel somebody's gonna play nice two of pentacles all of a sudden because yeah look at that nine of swords reverse three of swords i feel like somebody's gonna be feeling the heat and feeling the pressure with the idea of what they're gonna like maybe you at work or something you pick up all the slack for somebody and now it's gonna be on them and rightly so the moon re okay the moon reverse flipped coming out of the shadows and into the light what is the ten of swords reverse reason for the reading for sagittarius Yep, nine of wands. Somebody wants you to stay. Hold your eight of wands back. That's all. If you look at a nine of wands, that's what she's doing, or he, depending on the cards and the decks. But the one thing that's the same, they're holding their energy back, hoping something gets better. They're bandaged up. They, they're, it's just not enough anymore. Somebody's trying to keep you there because they're stressed as hell. But judgment, once again, look at that. You got a judgment in the outcome, you got a judgment here. I feel like it's karma. There's enough karma to go around. There's karma, good karma, bad karma. I feel like it's like you've learned a lesson and you're on. Somebody's about to learn their lesson because they're going to be in it. It's, it's, it's like such a karmic reading. What's the two of swords in the past? Libra and energy. What's the two of swords in the past? Queen of pentacles. I, so queen of pentacles is not unbreakable. That's what I'm getting with that. You have a two of swords is Libra. Libra is the queen of swords. You got the queen of pentacles. You got the two of cups upright, the queen of cups. Um, I'm not seeing the queen of wands, but it doesn't mean it's not going to come out. Where I'm going with this is, is you don't mistreat an empress and all four queens are an empress. Somebody had an empress and they were keeping them in the corner, keeping them on the side, keeping them back. They it could be jealousy. It could be all kinds of things, but but the thing is, is you tried to take the high road. You tried to be silent. You tried not to look at it for what it is. And then you did. And you realize you don't need it. You really don't. They need you more than you've ever needed them. And you don't want it anymore. And somebody is going to be paying the price of you walking away. What is the six of pentacles reverse on your mind, Taurus? Which I'm getting a strong hierophant reverse there. Six of Pentacles reverse on Sagi's mind. Who am I? David Copperfield, Empress. Oh, did I not say it or did I not say it? You're an Empress. I mean, well, you, you look at Tarot and you got three of the Queens upright. You're there. It's Empress energy. 
We don't need the Queen of Wands. It's the Queen of Wands is what's to come. Honestly, Queen of Wands is like, bitches, I'm here. That's the Queen of Wands energy, you know? Um, I can't believe I said that, but it's true. Queen of Wands just doesn't, I mean, Queen of Wands is like people look up to them and want to be them. And it's very high vibrational. It's the glitter and the, the shininess of the Empress. You know, the Empress is motherly and, and safe and loving. That's the Queen of Cups. The Empress takes no shit. That's the Queen of Swords. And the Empress doesn't need anyone. She's self-made. That's the Queen of Pentacles. So it's all four queens. But the Queen of Wands, I feel, is yet to come because I feel like that's your Page of Pentacles. Honestly. Just saying. Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. Tarot, it's all about leveling up. So here you are, moving on to a better place. Knight of Wands, near future for Saggies. And the pain <laughs> twice. I don't mean to laugh, but, you know, it's kind of karmic. Page of Swords reverses. Somebody's going to get some bad news near future. And what I feel about this, I feel like if you want to peek into the future, whoever did you dirty, fast forward at six months, they're going to find out that you have a position that they would have wanted but got turned down. I'm just saying that. I, that's for somebody out there. I'm feeling it. I feel like this is in the future. The Knight of Wands, Page of Swords reverse. They're going to get win that you got something that they wanted. And eh, what's the best way to explain this? Because I'm some of you are probably scratching your... I don't want to say what you're scratching, but let's just go with head. And you're like, what is she talking about? Ten of Pentacles. Let's, I'm try, I can't think of an analogy, but let's say this is the workplace and somebody kept you as a salesperson because they're like the third key. If you're in sales, you know what a third key is. It's not even a system manager. And you're like, you know what? I don't need this $5 an hour job. I'm going to leave. And then in a couple of weeks, you get an offer to manage a completely different store. This person tried to get in and they got refused. And that's why they took a third key. That is, I don't know why that came out. It's so specific, but this feels very, very, in a few months, they're going to get word that you have something that they never could get. It's it's going to be karmic justice right there. Knight of Swords, how you see yourself currently on the go. Yeah, because you got a new opportunity, Page of Wands. You know you do. Four Swords, good times are here again. Four Swords is, is it's interesting because we saw that Ten of Swords. You know, the dun, the dun, 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 right? Now you got the four of swords. The difference between it is the six of swords. You're moving on from something that was stressful into something that fits you a lot better. The peace of mind is what that is. All right, five of cups, energy coming in, Scorpio, that you don't see coming. Oh, Saggy, seven of pentacles. What is this person thinking? Seven of pentacles is, wait, 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 wait. No, waiting time is over. Seven of Pentacles is a reflective energy. I feel like there's going to be a lot of reflection because I feel like there's a little bit of heat. I feel like people are going to be like, are you crazy? What were you thinking? What, letting that person go. Somebody's going to look back. Seven of Pentacles isn't looking forward. It's actually looking back at the time spent and looking at their own behavior, looking at how they treat it and how they could have done it different, putting them into a five of cups. I'm, that's what I'm feeling. All right, page of pentacles in your emotions. Why is that? A higher priestess. You're saved. You were saved from that for this. That's what I got. It's, it's a spiritual high priestess going on. And I felt the hierophant reverse reason for the reading. You got the high priestess. You got the mask and the feminine. You got the, the true pair, whatever. I feel like it's more about your emperor. It's you're an emperor also. You know what I mean? Your masculine and feminine energies are upright. And the high priestess, for some of you, if you do have a new offer, you're not talking about it with this. You're just letting them know you're done. And that's all they need to know. But I, the first thought, I have to go with the intuition here. And the first thought is, is you were saved. High priestess is a very spiritual card. It's the card of the soul. You, something saved you because your time here is over. You're ready to move up into better things. So that's what I'm getting. Something really strong, spiritual, spiritualness going on here. Strength reverse, the judgment, and the eight of cups. What is the strength reverse in the outcome for Saggies? Strength reverse. And the ace of cups reverse. It's you can't do it anymore. Your heart's not in it, your cup is empty. 
can't get yourself there. You don't know why. You don't even care. That's just, there's nothing, nothing. And you have no choice. Judgment is, it's time. It's time to get into the new, and you do. And what is the judgment and the outcome? Three of Cups. I call this the co-worker card, but it could be a family card, a soul tribe. It's happiness, it's celebratory, it's a better fit. You have a better situation here, which leads to the Eight of Cups, a big move going into the world. Now look at this Five of Cups. See the difference? I love how different Five of Cups are depicted on different tarot decks. The one is focused on the two and the three of cups spilled. This one is only looking at the two of cups upright. And she's like, I don't care about the past. Three of cups is spilled. Her focus is on the two of cups and she's handling the moon. This is a person who's doing multiple tasking. And so it's a very, usually a five of cups can be a very solemn and sad card, but there's, but she's just looking at these two of cups, holding on to the moon kind of looks like the sun in this deck at the same time so it kind of honestly feels like a transition period and so going from the darkness into the light so i kind of feel like this five of cups is you walking this path and walking up the mountain but on the other side isn't the moon greeting you i feel like the moon is guiding you you know what i mean the moon energy this the high priestess energy is a very spiritual card i feel like your soul your spirit guides gods who, the universe whatever you deem your higher power is guiding you to the new beginning it's on the other side so yes you feel the climb but you're on the other side it's not another hill to climb it's it's like lush land you know what i mean and it's like you know what it feels like you were if your house was here, your job was here, you saw this mountain outside your window the whole time, you're like, oh my gosh, people who climb that are just crazy. You have a guy climbing this mountain over here and you're just watching and then you realize one day you have to climb this mountain. Everybody does at some point in their life. And when you do, you realize, why did I put it off? Because the benefit is so much better than the risk and the short-term pain for the long-term gain. I don't know what to, I really don't even know what I'm going to title this reading, but it is really good for you. I feel like there's karmic justice to go around. I feel like somebody's getting theirs while you're getting, it's like blessings, you know, and you have a big blessing coming and you're not putting it off anymore. I think you have a huge, it's not even turning a chapter in a book. It's like you're writing a whole new book. It's a whole new book. It's a whole new lease on life you have coming. All right, my Sagittarians, my beautiful creatures, I'll see you tomorrow, Fire Signs. Have a great rest of your evening. Take care of you mommies out there, and I love you guys. Take care.